where did that puck hit you on the on the winning goal? And just kind of, what's your guys' mentality that you've been able to pull out these games late in regulation like this a few times here in the playoffs? I mean, I'm not sure. We just had a good shift. It was two minutes left, and I went in front of that, hit my kneecap. So just a little touch. Great shot by Sergey. On the left side, Joe. Hey, Turner, what do you think of Sergey Tip tonight? I know he's got hasn't scored a lot of goals recently, but just be able to come through in a big moment like that. No, it was huge for us, and uh, you need that in the playoffs, guys, to come through. And Sergey's been playing great hockey. Uh, maybe hasn't gotten on the score sheet, but you know. Two great shots, like Pally said. Yes, uh, perfect wristers in the in the perfect spot, and good net fronts on both the goals. And the uh, second one, obviously, hit off Pally. But you know, two great shots, and overall, great game. Back left, Victor. As a D man, you're used to winding up those shots, right, and trying to just push them through traffic. What's what's the read when you just try and make a wrist shot? Maybe does something is a seam tone of develop, or how does that all work from your perspective? Yeah, I mean, you try to open up seams. I think Sergey is one of the best. Uh, in the league on the back end to kind of change his shooting angle, uh, open up those hips and, you know, faking out the forwards. But, you know, pulling pucks and, uh, you know, keeping your head up, you, you, you should find those shooting lanes. And he did that tonight. So that was huge. And uh, like I said, uh, usually you bear down and try to hit as hard as you can. But sometimes uh, those wristers are just as good. So uh, it's proven uh, for us today that those uh, work just as fine. On the right side, David. Victor, what's been the bit, uh, biggest difference the past three games? You guys have only about four goals. Is, you know, is there one adjustment you guys made, or is it just a couple things that you guys have you know, changed or worked on? No, I think we just got uh, back to our game a little bit. Uh, we stayed out of the box. Uh, even though they didn't score on, on power plays, we were given too many opportunities, and um, you know, they, that created momentum for them in the, in the previous games. So I think we've done a good job of staying disciplined and staying five on five. That's where I think we're at our best. So, uh, you know, just to try to eliminate their great A's. Uh, they're going to get the looks because they're a great team. So uh, when they got their great looks today, you know, Vass was there to make the saves. So, uh, you know, good team effort once again today. Take a question for Andre. Back left. Andre, you, you had a tough offensive stretch at one point during the season. Is there a way to kind of compare how you push through those moments and then you see something like this where, you know, you've been scoring a lot of goals and you have one actually go off your, your knee and go in? I mean, I'm saying it all the time. I'm trying to play every single game the same way. Sometimes it's, it shows on the score sheet, sometimes not. Sometimes I have a better game when I don't have a, any points. Sometimes, you know, I have some points and that game is not that great. So uh, it's, it's great. I'm, I, I, you know, score a couple of goals, but I'm not judging my game off to points and stuff like that. Front left, Mark. This is for Victor. Um, the Rangers have, in this playoffs uh, have had a propensity to show some resilience, obviously coming back in the previous two uh, series. What do you expect out of them on, on Saturday night? And, and uh, you know, I think uh, Steven just said he, he expects that's going to be the toughest game of the series for you guys. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we expect our best game uh, of the playoffs, and but we expect ourselves to to be at that level too. Uh, we've been, uh, you know, successful. We've had the opportunity to to eliminate teams, and uh, now we have the chance again to go back home. But we're not going to hang our hat there. We're going home. We got to execute uh, like we have in the previous games. But we really expect them to to have their best game. That's the bottom line, and uh, you know, it's, their their backs are against the wall. And uh, we expect our best game, but we got to manage, uh, or we got to ex expect ourselves to, to to have that desperation level as well. So uh, it's going to be an exciting time. Uh, we're excited to play in front of our fans, obviously, but at the end of the day, it's it's a hockey game, and uh, you know, same two teams going at it, and uh, we expect ourselves to to have a great game. Back right, standing up. Andre, what's the feeling around the team now that you're up three games to two? I mean, it's it's. It was a huge game. Obviously, we won in in, uh, in their building, but it's not over. Like Hedy said, it's going to be the toughest toughest game next one, and uh, we need to be ready. We know we know they're going to come out hard. We'll take one more question in Swedish from Per over there on the right. No, so klart det är en fantastisk känsla och. Men som vi sa tidigare, liksom, det här kommer att vara den tuffaste matchen för oss och, och vinna nästa match. Så att, uh, nej, men vi bevisar att vi behöver vinna minst en match uppe. Så att, uh, när vi gjort det 
och nu har vi chansen att vinna på hemmaplan så att så det var skönt att, att ta det lite lugnt ikväll, flyga hem imorgon och sen gör oss redo för en oerhört tuff match. Vi förväntar oss som sagt deras bästa match för i slutspelserien. Så att, men vi ska se till att vi har vår bästa också. Så att, ja, det ska, så här match man lever för, det så här ska, ska bli hur kul som helst.